There's history here. And here. There's history there. History is everywhere. My name is Mackenzie. Uh, I'm the registrar here at SOHS. Let's start in the 1920s. This is circa 1923. It's actually a Janssen, one of their original wool swimming suits. They started selling these in about 1915 in their catalogs. Okay. So this was designed by Carl Janssen, one of the owners of Janssen, obviously. Um, it was originally a design that he made for his rowing team um, who needed something warm to wear in the Willamette, the cold Willamette River. Um, it was not common to wear such a form-fitting suit back then, um, but they started selling them and they became very popular right away um, among men and women. They actually, Jensen's actually credited with coining the term swimming suit in their advertisements. Before then, it had only been called bathing suits. So interesting. And this is a 1930s swimming suit. Um, it's a lot like the 1920s. Um, it still wasn't super popular at the time to have to wear something in public that was so form-fitting. But um, there are quite a few celebrities at the time who loved them, and Marlene Dietrich famously owned one in every single color. So it became very popular after that. Um, here we've got, this is a, our records show it's a 1940s bikini, but I'm thinking it may be a little later than that. Um, the bikini came out in 1946 in France. Um, it wasn't wildly popular though until the 1950s. And then we've got a 1940 suit that's probably a little more typical. Uh, during this time they started becoming a little more reflective of regular dress fashion. So there's a lot of ruching and a lot of structure in these suits. Can you turn that one Oh, you want to see the zipper. And it is, does have convertible straps, so you can go strapless if you wanted to, to prevent the tan lines from happening, which was still a concern at the time, apparently. <laughs> We've got a 1950s bikini. They got a little skimpier then. Uh, in 1953 ish, when Bridget Bardot wore her bikini at the Cannes Film Festival on the French Riviera, um, kind of took off while and became wildly popular then. Um, I love the tiger stripe. <laughs> and the bust is still very structured and it is padded. So the ruching is still very popular as well. And the, Bottoms are still pretty high-waisted compared to what you would see in contemporary times. Um, it still wasn't everyone's favorite, though. So this is another 1950s one-piece suit, uh, probably more typical of what people would wear. Marilyn Monroe wore a white suit similar to this in one of her photos. It's got a deep plunging back, though. and the very structured padded bust area. It's still common. This one was actually designed by a fairly well-known designer named Oleg Cassini. These, the gold lame and the belt seem very appropriate for that time. Uh, it's still very structured in the bust area and deep plunging back with the uh, zipper closure. Uh, belts, from what I understand, were only popular for 
not too long in the 60s. And then the 70s, you get kind of Farrah Fawcett in her deep plunging red one-piece suit. And um, a little sportier in the 70s, and then the 80s, you get the kind of high thigh-cut suits. Um, and then the 90s, you see the, the triangle bikini that shows the world everything. And then contemporary, it's more about body positivity and finding the suit that's right for the each individual woman. So. <laughs>